With the football season starting up, we've got a bunch of new tools at stochastic.com, and among them is the contest generator, which I'm about to walk you through and show how you can use it to make some money this year at NFL DFS. Now, there's a few different options here in the contest generator that you could use to diversify your lineups, have some manual inputs. But first, let's talk about the different pool size options you can make. Because what you could do with the contest generator is you could build lineups and you could export them and play them directly on DraftKings and on FanDuel. You can change your site right here in the site settings. Also, this is soon going to include Owner's Box, which is a new site that we are partnered with. But as for the pool size, so how many lineups do you want to have built? If you have the base package for football, you could build either 250 or 500 lineups. And if you have our max package, you could build up to 10,000 lineups and build lineups very quickly. I'm going to do it right here on screen. On average, it takes somewhere around 60 seconds to build these lineups. So this is how it makes sense to start. You go out, you build the lineups. And then from here, once those lineups are built, there's different ways you could rebuild lineups with some customization. You could also sort and rank the lineups to find out which of the lineups that are built have the best projections, which ones have the highest ownership. And then you could rank these lineups with a balance of those two things to find out which lineups it actually is that you want to play in large field tournaments. Now, something else of note as well is that when you build out these lineups, you could change the stack exposures. So let's say that you wanted to make all of your lineups QB plus one stacks with at least one pass catcher, or I should say with only one pass catcher, you could bump this all the way up to 100%. You could also make settings for QB and two of their pass catching options, and then QB plus three as well. And then our contest generator tool is going to build lineups that are as close to these settings as possible when everything is built out. Now, we've got these lineups built. So 10,000 lineups here, and these are the different columns that you'll see. The name is just the player that's over here. The ownership, this is the projected ownership of that individual player for the slate. Then we've got the pool exposure, which is of those 10,000 lineups, how much of this player did you get exposure to of those 10,000? And this is the difference, the difference between the exposure you have and the ownership. Now, let's say you want to get more or less of a player out of this set of lineups. You could either boost them up and give them up to one, two, three arrows up, or conversely, you could do up to one, two, three arrows down on these players. Now, this is not going to change it immediately. It's going to take effect once you rebuild another set of lineups. So let's say you wanted you know, more Tyree Kill, more Justin Jefferson, less Jamar Chase. You then have to rebuild another set of lineups, and then the way that you boost players up or boost players down would then take an effect on those new lineups that you put into play. The stacks. So this is going to show of the pool you built, how many of them are exposures to different sort of stack types. So if you set in the stack exposures, you are going to have to do whatever number you want, like talked before, and then hit apply. But also keep in mind that this has to be done before you generate a new set of lineups. So if the lineups are already built, these are not going to be taken into place unless you click apply and then build out a new set of lineups. But you can see of these lineups that I've built here, 33% of them are unstacked, 49.4% have a QB with one pass catcher, 15.4% QB two pass catchers, and on and so forth. Now, if we go ahead and look at the lineups and ranker, what this page is going to show you is all of the 10,000 lineups you've built. They're all here on the right-hand column, the dupes column, which is going to be really important for showdown. Not quite as important for main slates because you don't really run into duping issues all that often on main slates. There's a lot of options, but one of the things that you can do in the content generator as well is build out lineups for showdown on DraftKings, single game on FanDuel. That's where dupes are really important because this will be able to help you identify which lineups in large field tournaments are expected to be duped by the field. And then you could try to avoid playing any sort of lineups that might be duped, you know, like 30, 40 times or something like that for single game contests. This is the stack type. So this is going to show you the lineups that you have of the certain types that we built that you could use making the stack exposure here, the salary that's used in each of these individual lineups, the total ownership, the projection of the lineup. And then there's this ranking column. So what does the ranking column mean? Well, you could sort these lineups based on their rank, and you could change the rank based on a couple of different things. The projection of the lineup, as well as the ownership. So the way that I have this set up right here, 
it's weighted for 50% projection and 50% for ownership, which is the default settings. But if you wanted to change this and say, maybe you value projection a lot more than you value ownership, you could change this and you could make this, let's go to say 60%. So we boost this up a little bit and we change the projection rank to 60%, which then in line will end up changing the ownership rank to 40%, it always has to equal 100. So then once you change it out, this will also end up changing some of the overall ranks. So then you could resort the lineups after everything has been applied in the projection rank and the ownership rank, and this will change how your lineups are sorted. So you could export these lineups and go directly and play them on DraftKings and FanDuel and have them in order of the different projection and ownership rank. But something else that you could do as well from this page is that you could click on the post contest simulator. And then right from there, there's already going to be a file in there with all the lineups that you've built and you could simulate out this slate. But if you don't want to use the simulation and you just want to build lineups within the contest generator, you could do that right in here. And by sorting these lineups with these ranking tools, by adjusting for projection and for ownership, you could build out lineups that you could expect to confidently feel are going to be projected well just using the contest generator. Hopefully, this helps you guys build out some lineups that'll make you some money for NFL this season. And this is all included in our NFL package. We've got our base package, like I said before, lets you build up to 500 lineups or a max package that allows you to build up to 1,000, all included in our NFL data packages.